Hi, I'm Mary from Linda Z's Sewing Center, and I'm bringing you the Thursday morning video series on the Bernina feet. Linda has asked that I show some of the feet about on the new Bernina sergers, and we've done the piping one in the past where piping and cording were made. Um, we've also done with the zipper, I believe. Today we're going to do the gathering foot and also an attachment. I've got an extra special treat. So the gathering foot is like this. It's a whole separate foot. Now I'm going to show you how you can gather a small way with out a foot, but the gathering foot, what this does, it, it can increase your gathers and it can also sew at the same time in one motion. So you don't have to do it twice, which is really great. It can gather your fabric and sew it onto a secondary piece of fabric. So for all of those who made dust uh, ruffle skirts growing up, I used to help my mom. She did it in two or three different steps. We didn't have the serger capability with this little foot. So what this foot looks like is it'll be working with your overlock, all right? So we've got our needle hole positioning there. But you've also got, you can call it a separator, you can call it a flap. You can call it a groove, call it what you want, but you've got the secondary little piece of fabric of metal here. That will help the fabric that's to be gathered will actually go under here. Fabric that we will sew onto the fabric that's gonna stay flat is gonna go through this groove here and feed together. And I'll show you exactly how we do that. We're gonna play a little bit first. It's got two little markings. These are your left needle and right needle markings. And this embossed indented one, because these are embossed, so they're higher up, those are the needle ones. This indented one is actually where you're gonna line up your fabric, your flat fabric. So I want to show you how we can gather first with the normal everyday foot. We're gonna put that foot back on. We're going to be using the four thread overlock. And I'm just going to change ahead of time. My stitch length, I want all the way up to a 4.5, as high as it goes. And I want my differential all the way up to a two. My cutting width is on a six, so that's good. I do want to cut off maybe a quarter of an inch while I gather. Now, with some machines, and you have to kind of play with your machine, that's enough that you can gather at that setting. It's got also the ability to change your stitch length, and I want to take my stitch length up almost to an eight. Now watch, I'm starting to gather. So remember and play. Now I'd rather gather and surge all in one because if I was going to take this piece of gathered fabric, and by the way, we started at this length and we ended at this length. So my ratio on this, if we stretch it out, is more than a two to one. It's dependent on two things. It'll be dependent on my foot when I put on my gathering foot, or it's dependent on the tension that I increased on my left needle and my right needle. So for those of you with mechanical machines, increase your tension. Those of you who have automatic tensions, you're going to have to play. I have the best of both worlds. I have electronically programmed tension that I can tweak and play with. That's what I like about the Bernina 890. So we're gonna take off my regular overlock foot by pressing the button, and we're gonna put on the gathering foot. I'm gonna get that out of the way, bring it around the side, lift the foot. Sometimes you have to get your little wire bar into the right position. 
drop it down. Always check to make sure that the foot stays on. Now, I'm going to bring my tensions back down to where it's normal for this. And I'm going to have right side up directly underneath the gathering foot. I'm just going to surge till I hit my needles. Let my needles hold it. I'm going to be cutting maybe a quarter of an inch off. The fabric that is going to be the flat fabric goes into that little groove and it actually lines up with this mark right here. So the flat fabric lines up with the mark, which is against the blade, and the fabric to be gathered is going to be cut a little bit off. So we're going to manipulate this. Once I have it ready, it's a two-handed operation again. So you can see it's starting to gather. Now, on my particular machine, on the 890, I'm at four and four for my needle tensions. I don't have to change it. The foot is doing the work. If I didn't have this foot, then I'd have to change it. So it's sewing and gathering all in one. I'm going to guide this with my top hand and pull this with my bottom hand. The top is staying flat. The piece to be gathered is gathering. So you can see, now if I want more gathers on the bottom piece, I can tug it and pull it. And I can also pull on the top piece at the same time. Pull on the top piece and we'll get more gathers. So what works for me, and I don't know if you can see this, is my hand here is going to manipulate and pull. So manipulate and smooth while I'm pulling on this fabric on the top. So this hand is manipulating this fabric here, the pink fabric, so that only about a fourth of an inch gets tugged, cut off. I'm tugging gently on this fabric, the straight fabric, because that will help control, believe it or not, your bottom fabric. And then I'm gonna surge off. So up here, I've got less of a gather than here. This is where I started pulling on the, the straight flat fabric. And I'll show you that again. And again, it was not quite a two to one ratio. So you need to figure out and do the math. So we'll do this one more time. It's a lot of fun, but it's tricky to get the hang of it. So what we're going to do is insert your fabric to be gathered first, right side up. You're cutting off about a fourth of an inch. The fabric that you're going to be using, the flat fabric, goes in the slot or the groove of the foot, which is right there. Bring it up alongside the blade, take a stitch or two, and let the needles catch it. So now I'm ready. I'm going to hold on with my bottom hand and I'm right-handed, so this is what works for me. I'm going to control that and cut off and I'm pulling on this at the same time. I'm guiding this and making sure that the bottom fabric, and the more I pull on the top fabric, the more the bottom fabric will gather which sounds strange, but that's how it works. And I moved my bottom fabric a little bit too far, but that's okay. This is practice. So there is my gathers. Now, if I was making a towel 
with a ruffle, a pillowcase with a ruffle, a bed skirt with a ruffle. You've got to treat your bottom edge first. So a rolled hem or something like that, any kind of hem, a hem with a decorative thread, you do first and then you gather. So this was our gathering foot for today. Um, it's available for the 850, it's available for the 890, it is available for your other manufacturers. Check into your man manufacturer. What I also have to show you is a brand new attachment, and I'm so excited I bought one myself. It's called the Decorative Thread Spool Pin. And it comes in four little pieces here. Now, why do you need that? Well, I do a lot of decorative work, and in future, in future um, episodes, we're gonna show you exactly what this is. This will snap on. It fits into the groove and snaps on, and you can get multiple spin holders. What I'm going to do is put my foam pad there, and then I'm going to have my spool cap there, and in between, I'll have a decorative spool of thread. Any thread that you find that doesn't behave vertically, try horizontally. I also like to surge with more than one thread in the same looper, and we'll be doing some investigation on that. That's a little bit of a teaser, and that's why I'm going to need this, because I need more, and I might even end up with two or three of these. So this is brand new. Sewing machines have had them. This is the first time that the sergers are, have had them, and it's called, again, the decorative thread spool pin. Um, we'll see if we can't get that onto, I don't know if we can get it onto a website, but you can call the store at 847-394-4590. And any of our feet, anybody can help you with, or you can ask for me also. So that concludes this Thursday morning video. If you have any questions, the video will always be available. I will even have a tag on, on directions on this if Nick would be so kind. So there is our ruffling. You can ruffle and add to a piece of fabric all in one stitch. Thank you so much for joining us.